is a Bramble Jam podcast. What are you doing? It's making. Psst. Jamie. Get up. It's when. Take the day off. Go, Jamie. It's your birthday. Go, Jamie. It's your birthday. Go, Jamie. Go, Jamie. Go. Go. Who is Jamie? Who is Jamie? How did you... It's not like... How'd you get it wrong? I didn't get anything wrong. I just didn't get to it. (laughs) You went to me first. I went to you first. That was wrong. That was wrong. I'm over here looking at the question to see what we're doing. I'm tired. Dude, I sleep better when it's not my morning to introduce the show, and then you put it on me anyway. <laughs> yes. That's a breach of trust. Okay, fine. We'll do our we'll do our handshake and we'll uh, hug it out. Right? Take the day. You didn't say yeah. it. You were laughing. <laughs> it's take the day. I said take the day. I just didn't say it loud enough. We've got ultra mics in here, ultrasound equipment in here. Trace has that clip. She will play it now. Did you say we have ul- ultrasound <laughs> equipment in here? Like for the babies? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, you would think ultrasound. I said ultra sound equipment. Not ultrasound equipment. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> like give it to the babies. Like, <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, like no, why are we holding no, no, ultrasound? No, no, no. We got we so yeah. got, we got mega sound equipment. Or so. but yeah, ultra sound equipment may not be the best name, but that does not mean that's not what it is because that's what it is. Sure, we do uh, record podcast here, but also we let you know what you have it. So lots to be done here. Can you imagine? It's like, oh, we got to pause this. We'll take a quick break. Uh, just had a walk in. It's, it's a boy. It's a boy. You, this curtain back here, yeah. right on the other side, is the oh, ultrasound equipment. But I don't know why you brought it up. <laughs> hey, uh, it's great to be here, everybody. Yeah, it is. Uh, join Purple Gym Plus. Hope Help us dirty. pay off that ultrasound equipment. PurpleGymPlus.com. Uh, you can sign up for as little or as much as you are feeling in the moment. You cannot uh, sign up for as much as you're feeling in well, the moment. Well, no, no, no. Um, but Not you true. get bonus stuff. Uh, Gavel is uh, going to exclusively to Bramble Gym Plus and... Uh, Bayside's moving that way as well. Uh, Deck the Hallmark's five days a week now. It's so much going on. It's wow. a lot of really yeah. fun time. Fun time. Um, and Take the Day Off is still out here in, uh, in no man's land. Just, just here. It, the, <laughs> people yeah. the people, the people want it. The people do want it. We do it. People want it. You get it. You Would got it be it. easier to not wake up every morning at four for the walkthrough and then, then the thing? Yeah, but we do it because people want it. We walked through. We did the ultrasound bit and we decided to keep it. <laughs> we decided to keep it. We thought it was good. The handshake we worked on three times. <laughs> yeah. It's good. You can't do that if you just... Rolling Wing it. Do it. Yeah. That would just be um, It is an exciting day today. It is National Carrot Cake Day. National. <laughs> National Carrot Cake Day. Why are you laughing? It's the best we got. National Carrot Cake did Day. Did you bring in a kit? Trace, did you make that carrot cake? I did. Okay. Where is it? I ate it on the bike ride over. You ate an entire you ate a cake, a cake while, while on a biking? bike ride. Many hands made like work. You, know I mean? <laughs> you guys on a table. We're on a tandem. That's right. We took turns. I was pedaling. She was snarfing. <laughs> Can you imagine? That sounds worse than it is. <laughs> Can you imagine bringing and Trace tandem biking down Lord's Road at three in the morning just <laughs> shoveling carrot car- cake in their guzzles? Oh. We've been pulled over for DUI no less than a dozen <laughs> times. Breathalyzer comes clean every time. <laughs> What? Because it looks ridiculous, Brent. Yeah. We're always eating something. You're always eating yeah. something on we, the tandem? Shit. One of us pedals, one of us snarfs. That's how it works. <laughs> what else? Is I the... ate sardines last week. God. Had a can, just one at a time, <laughs> head first. You deserve to be arrested. <laughs> you deserve to be arrested. <laughs> Good one. Get a haircut. Uh, thank you. Um, February 3rd. Can you believe it? National Carrot Cake Day. Um, I was uh, making a carrot cake last night, uh, which Trace like, apparently took off my hands and ate it. Yeah. Um, and I was frosting it. I was getting everything. And I put some sprinkies on top, as I do. Uh-huh. And I noticed something crazy about these sprinkies. Mm. It's spelled out. And I'm just dumping them random. But if you do a pullback, yeah. 
You're dumping them random, though. I'm dumping them random. <laughs> but they landed yeah. to spell out Dan knows about National Care Kick Day. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Man, talk about the magic involved there. Unbelievable. Got the magic in me. You do? Yeah. Everywhere I go. Yeah. Speaking of Frosty. Frosty the snowman. Oh, he loved his <laughs> carrot cake. Uh-huh. That's the original. You don't know. No, the I don't know The uh, original story of Frosty the Snowman, not a song, uh, is a, it's a short story by Mary Shelley who wrote uh, Frankenstein. Um, and it's a much darker tale. Uh, and uh, Frosty... And Rankin and Bass took it? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. You get that. That part everyone knows. But <laughs> they wanted to make it for kids, so they changed... It's like how Hallmark takes some movies with some... in it, And they change yeah. it to make it to where it's exactly. family friendly. Exactly so Mary Shelley's Frosty the Snowman um, is a horror movie about what happens to Frosty uh, when, when he melts... He's actually turned into carrot cake. Um, they mix him in to the batter <laughs> of carrot cake, and they make a carrot cake with Frosty, and then the kids are all eating the carrot cake and loving it. And uh, o- Old Man Rasper from around the corner comes over, and he goes, Surprise, you're eating Frosty. That's the big end to the, to the bit. And the kids are screaming, and they're upset because they're eating their friend that they had just been playing with and frolicking in the snow with. Uh Mary Shelley was very, very high on the book. Uh, publishers, not so much. But they did give her a National Carrot Cake Day uh, in exchange for her never, ever publishing uh, the original Frosty the Snowman. And Rankin Bass took it. And the rest, as they say, is history. Back to you, Brian. Um, one, that's an excellent story. I know, right? <laughs> the kids are eating their friend. <laughs> it's... a. Uh, a lot darker, but very good. <laughs> Worth it. Very good story. Uh, second of all, that's as good as I can tell here as well. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I guess some carrot cake stuff, like, you know, it originated in the Middle Ages when sugar and other sweeteners were scarce. Sugar, so, right? So. <laughs> Oh, you uh, just said sugar. I'm sugar. Sorry. I don't know. I don't think. Was Sugar Ray around in the Middle Ages? Could have been. No, should have been. Should have been. Uh, sweeteners were scarce, and so carrots were used as a substitute as a sweetener okay. for uh, cake. And the, the earliest known recipe for carrot cake can be found uh, in a French cookbook published in the year. 18 to 10. Ooh, 1827. Oh, 1827, very close. Have you um, ever, do you like a carrot cake? I don't mind it. Yeah, it's fine. And that, I think... Though is what gets us to our question. If you you want to go ahead and do it, yeah, we'll get to our question. But the the question is this: What's a food that you hear and you're like, oh, that doesn't sound good? But then you try and you're like, I yeah. like that. Yeah. I like that. Carrot cake for me is one of them, and we're gonna get to more of them in just a second. Here oh. on take the, here on take the day off. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah, for sure. Felt right to me. I can tell you that. What's going on? You know, just here thinking about foods that I, I didn't think I'd like. Do you have any? Yeah, you and I are both. Uh, now, I'm about 10 years older than you. And I, my trajectory, uh, get out of here. Uh, my trajectory of adopting new foods into my repertoire of foods that I accept and eat is similar to yours. Um, I've always been a little bit less picky than you, though. Um, but I've, like you, you know, when I first met you, you didn't even eat cheese on a burger. That's true. Um, and now you're a big cheeseburger boy. And so my trajectory was the same. You know, when I was 27, I wasn't eating nearly as much food as I am now. Um, But as far as food that, like, you would think that I wouldn't like, blue cheese dressing has to be at the top of that list. Sure. You know, I love blue cheese dressing. Wings, celery, just anything to dip it in. It's astounding to me. It's unreal. I mean, it's moldy. It's moldy cheese. It's moldy cheese. And it's some sort of, some people use, like, a mayonnaise base. I didn't like mayonnaise. And I'm not... I mean, I just don't understand it, but I love. Blue Why did you dressing. end up trying it? Because I will never try it. My, I, I can't, can't. So get I never over liked it. the ranch on the wings. Me never liked the ranch, and I knew that original wings were with blue cheese dressing. That was like an original. The original Anchor Bar wings came with blue cheese. And my dad had a friend that was a child, like childhood. Like I called him Uncle Bill when I was a kid. Yeah. Good dude. His name's Terry. He, but he loves the. <laughs> he loved the blue cheese, and finally I was like. It's a, it's a cheese dip. Like, how could I not try a cheese dip and say that I'm a human being? And I tried it, and it was just something about it that just, it goes with buffalo wings. It just does. Um, Is it cheesy? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. But it's cold, and it's got an interesting texture to it. But I love it. 
Now you're sitting here going, I have to try it because I the do cheese like dip. cheese dip. I, I don't know. I always but it's thought not cheddar cheese. It's not like it's like a yeah, cheese dip I like always, you would think of. I always thought of it as it's moldy cheese within some sort of like mayo y base. It's all kind of whipped together though. So you got the chunks of cheese in there. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> it's delicious. I don't know. But it clearly mine's blue cheese dressing because I'm not a like. I don't like ranch dressing. I mean, I could get in on like a Chipotle ranch. Ranch's not a big, like I'm not a big mayonnaise guy, but blue cheese really works for me. Mine is cocaine. I always thought, you thought it wouldn't, I be, thought for it wouldn't be for me. Just and a little then, bit on the gums. <laughs> it takes the sting away. There are children watching this program. Um, it takes the sting away. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, a lot of people are saying Brussels sprouts. My uh, my no. my wife is in that boat. Yeah. She always was like, I don't like Brussels sprouts. She went to uh, Lazy Goat downtown Greenville. Oh my gosh! Um, and the people, uh, uh, there's all this lore of the oh, Brussels Sarah sprouts. Sarah raves Goat. about those Brussels sprouts. Uh, she oh she tried goodness. them and she's she's never turned back. Mm -hmm. um, there is still Brussels that she won't like, but it's kind of turned the corner for, for yeah, her, yeah yeah for if her. they're good. Yeah. Um, Aaron says buffalo wings just in general. Growing up, we didn't eat anything remotely spicy or hot. Mm. Uh, didn't think that I would eat, uh, would, would, would end up liking it or eating it, so she never tried them. Last year, she had a roommate who made them all the time, and now I put buffalo sauce on everything. Mm, buffalo sauce is delicious. I love it. Good answer, Aaron. Brian Harold says sushi. I'm sure that's a lot of people. Sushi's delicious. You're not uh, a big sushi. I hated boy. it. What um, I thought I would feel, I feel. <laughs> The idea always grossed me out, but then I oh, tried it, the, uh, and I couldn't believe what I was missing. White tuna sashimi, spicy tuna roll, spicy salmon roll, caterpillar roll. I just had it the other night for the first time in probably a year, and I need to make it a weekly thing. It is delicious. I, my whole life growing up, thinking I would not ever like sushi. I love sushi. It's delicious. And Brian's um, wrong on this one. Julie says mushrooms. Uh, I get that. I mean, I get not wanting it. Like I, I've never tried a mushroom. I have um, no oh, interest in trying a mushroom. Um, it looks scary. It sounds scary. I don't want it. Melinda says raw oysters. We visited uh, our son a few years ago and went to a restaurant with an oyster bar. He let me try one of his, and it was surprisingly good. I'm out on that. I've had them. They're bad. They're just, they're bad. Uh, uh, Shannon says eggplant. Mm. Eggplant. Yeah. Dude, Amy Matthew says cabbage rolls. I just threw up a little thing. What's a cabbage roll? I don't know. What's I don't know what that is. Uh, Beth Ann says broccoli or lettuce wraps from P.F. Chang's. Okay. I voluntarily. Uh, I won't voluntarily. I won't vol eat half of the ingredients, but there's something about it that, that, that works. Nicole says pork roast with fig jam. I think that sounds a pretty standard meal. I mean, that's a yeah, that sounds good. What's yeah. it, what is it? Yeah. The, fig, the fig jam or the yeah. pork roast? I think it's the fig jam that probably throws people off. Fig Pulsers. jam never bothered me. Yeah. It, it was never something that I was like, oh, that doesn't... Yeah, whatever. I don't know. Um, how about this? Uh, you, 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 you get this. This is candy again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fried egg with hard yolk. Yolk? Yolk. I uh, don't know what the tender... Isn't that a devil... Uh, no, fried hard, egg, fried hard egg. yolk. Uh, so what is that? An uh, easy over? I don't. It's definitely <laughs> not an easy over. I can promise you that. I'm gonna look it up real quick. I just tried it for the first time this week. Uh, I'm real picky. Uh, it's called fried eggs over hard. Over. Okay, easy over. The yolk is like looks like it's semi solid. This is making me just get me just gag it. thinking about it. Um, I'll image it up. For okay, you. image it up for me, pal. A lot of people say guacamole. I also uh, am afraid of guacamole. Oh no, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I actually am more um, of a runny uh, egg type person. I like scrambled more than I like I'm fried. A I'm a never egg. Daniel's, Daniel's a never egg. egg. Uh, I don't eat eggs by themselves. They make me gag just thinking about them. Egg salad, no. Scrambled eggs, no. Over easy, no. Sunny side up, no. No, 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 no. I don't eat eggs. They're disgusting. Tracy says uh, Adamame. Adamame, yeah. Because, you know, most, most people don't like peas or don't yes, like... Yes, she says, I hate green peas um, and green beans. But eggs are... Like but edamame is dif different yeah. than both of those things. But it looks like the same thing. So I get that. That's a good one. Um, uh, there's so many things that I, though, have grown to like i was having this conversation with my wife um the other day um how i i can't imagine what my life was like before i liked rice oh yeah no like, there I, is a large chunk of my life where i refuse to eat rice 
and it was rightfully you and earned. I went to Costa Rica. Was, yes. You didn't want you don't want rice. Yes. That's tough. Something changed. And yeah. it's I love it now. You There's it's such a versatile food. The big change for me uh, was condiments on a sandwich. I used to not even like sandwiches yeah. because I used to just eat it with meat and cheese. And then I started putting mustard on my sandwiches, which was delicious. And now it's impossible for me to eat a sandwich if it doesn't have like lettuce, oil, vinegar, yeah, mustard, no, I'm not hot there peppers. Yet. I'm not there Dude, yet. The, the sh- the cold Dan, you are my, I tell you this often, you are my inspiration. You give hope to me um, that one day uh, I will be you're, better you're, than I am. No, you, you'll keep adding like I did. I, I, I can't believe it. I look But back. I feel like uh, I am further behind than you were. You are, but I'm, you my, started further behind. So I think we're working my the curve same is, level. My curve, okay. But, but we're, you're just keeping up. I don't know if you'll ever get... You know some of this stuff, but also I didn't marry someone who's half Asian, and I I had I was I was from the time we started dating was thrust into the deep end of the pool when it comes yeah, to sure. Asian food, and so now I love pretty much all Asian food, like love it. I used to not eat anything mixed together, yeah, and now like you can mix all of it in together. I'm in for it, except yeah. for eggs. I'm not a big egg guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I like a burger with an egg. Do you really? Yeah, oh, that's just disgusting. Yeah. Oof. No, thank you. Call that the. Uh, the hangover burger. The hangover burger. Yeah. That's what we had after I the deckies. <sighs> Dude, seven in the morning went to Waffle House. They also, made us one special. My answer from earlier that also <laughs> deckies related. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> makes the sting go away. <laughs> We're gonna be back tomorrow, everybody. You're gonna have a lot of fun mm. um, tomorrow. Um, you know what? I think tomorrow's gonna be a really good day because we're gonna read letters that the deckies, double deckers, I'm sorry, wrote the Brambles Gen Plus subscribers to their mail carriers. It has been a tough year for mail it carriers. Has, it has. We're going to read some letters to them tomorrow. That's going to make it all better. That's going to take really, the sting away. That's going to take the sting away. It is uh, what we like to call a mail carrier's cocaine. Tomorrow. Mail bag. So I have a lot of fun tomorrow. Uh, we'll be back uh, then. Until then. <laughs> You're nailing it. We'll leave you with a high cue. Take the day out. Did you say high cue? Haiku. It's a it's how a hot it's how I say cue up that haiku. Cue it's up that haiku. Alright, uh Trace handed it's me this. Tech terms, Dan. Yeah, I get it. Trace handed me this. I'm just gonna read it at, off the page as is written oh, okay. in her handwriting. <laughs> I didn't think um, you pretty Trace, I'm looking at it. On the front it says read it or else. So okay. I don't know how you what yeah, you expected. Wild. Uh pretty pretty look. <laughs> don't look down, you silly silly. I'm on a cliff. Sting, sting. It sounds like oddly like adjacent to an all-American reject song, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> pretty, pretty, it's pretty, a, sting, it, it, sting. It, it, it is like the <laughs> the rough draft of Swingsley, and then they like tidied it up a little bit and made it passable. 